guilt into our life. This may even result in some people saying, what happened to all the good I have done? What happened to the good things that have happened in my life? Guilt is a powerful distorter of reality. It is a wicked meaning that needs to be whacked. And so we're going to look at the next few verses, verses 28 through 30, if you can follow along. An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered. Because while you're pulling the weeds, you may root up and you may root up the wheat with them. Let them both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them into bundles that they would be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. Fill in the blank number two. What is this wheat? What is this wheat? First off, in verse 28, we see the identification of where the weed came from. In verse 28, we see an enemy did this. The source of this wicked weed. But what is it? Now, in the King James Version, it was called what? Do you remember? The wheat and the tares. But when you actually study what the weed was in Jesus' time, the weed that he was actually referring to was called bearded darnel. How many of you have ever seen bearded darnel before? I have. It's called bearded darnel, and it looks like wheat. It will grow up, and it will look just like wheat until the heads form. The heads, instead of that golden, brownish, yellow color of wheat, they turn gray. And the thing about bearded darnel is, if you eat it, just a little bit of it, it tastes like bitter. And if you eat a lot of it, it'll make you sick. It'll make you dizzy and feel awful. So it's imperative that the, that the bearded darnel, the tares, the weeds, get sorted out after the harvest. Now, I believe this weed sounds a lot like guilt. Guilt tastes bitter when you first eat it. And if you let guilt stay in your life a long time, it can make you sick. So let's, let's jump to the end. We have a marvelous explanation that Jesus gives us of this parable in verses 36 through 43, if you'd like to follow along. 